acids and bases neutralize each other to a pH of 7. The hydrogen from the acid, the hydroxide from the base combine to form water. The anion from the acid and the metal ion from the base come together to form a salt in a double replacement reaction. For example, when hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide combine, the hydrogen from the acid and the hydroxide from the base combine to form a water molecule. The Na and the Cl combine to form the salt. There are two hydrogens in sulfuric acid. Therefore, two moles of potassium hydroxide are needed to neutralize one mole of sulfuric acid. Two H's, two OH's will produce two water molecules. The remaining ions, two potassiums and a sulfate, will combine to form the salt potassium sulfate. The definition of the word salt means the ionic product of an acid-base neutralization. Three hydrogens in phosphoric acid, two hydroxides in calcium hydroxide. Six hydrogens, six hydroxides form six waters. The phosphate and the calcium come together to form the salt calcium phosphate. And that is a neutralization reaction. In order to be completely neutralized, the number of moles of hydrogen must equal the number of moles of hydroxide. You can carry out this reaction using what's called a burette in a process known as titration. Titration is the controlled neutralization of acid and base, controlled using a burette. A burette is a device that lets out controlled quantities of acid and base for neutralization purposes. What you do is you measure out a certain amount of acid, you put in an acid-base indicator, and then you add base until the indicator turns color. The most commonly used indicator for this is phenol failing. Using this, if you know how many moles of acid you have, you'll be able to determine the number of moles of base that you have. So how many moles of hydrochloric acid does it take to neutralize 2.00 moles of NaOH? Well, the moles of acid equal the number of moles of base. So 2.00 moles of HCl will neutralize 2.00 moles of NaOH. 1H in the acid, 1OH in the base will neutralize each other out in a 1 to 1 ratio. If the acid and base do not contain the same number of hydrogens and hydroxides, then you use the formula number of hydrogens times moles of acid equals number of hydroxides times moles of base. So how many moles of H2SO4 does it take to neutralize two moles of NaOH? Notice that the base has only one hydroxide, the acid has two hydrogens. So we're trying to find moles of H2SO4. That's moles of acid. So we rearrange the equation, divide both sides by number of hydrogens, and that gets moles of acid by itself. So moles of acid equals, there's one hydroxide in the formula of the base, there are 2.00 moles of base, divided by, there are two hydrogens in the formula of sulfuric acid. That means there's 1.00 moles of acid. Now how do we know that we're solving for moles of acid and not moles of base? Well simple, it says how many moles of H2SO4. The H in the front tells you right away it's the acid you're dealing with. If they ask for moles of base, how would you know? Bases contain hydroxide. Acids have a hydrogen. Hydroxide for a base.